गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स दिस इज यज्ञ देव एंड आई एम प्रेजेंटिंग द इकोनॉमी सर्वे फॉर इम्पावर आई एस सो इन द इकोनॉमी सर्वे वी वेर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट चैप्टर फर्स्ट विच वॉज बारबिल स्ट्रैटी देन चैप्टर टू हाउ इकोनॉमी वॉज डेवलपिंग एंड फिजिकल डेवलपमेंट वॉज टेकिंग देन वी ऑल्सो डेवलप अबाउट द एक्सटर्नल सेक्टर हाउ बैलेंस ऑफ पेमेंट इज मेंटेन बाई गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया ड्यूरिंग द पेंडेमिक एंड इन पोस्ट पेंडेमिक पीरियड then how balance of trade was maintained by government of india by maintaining current account and capital account then in chapter 5 we are discussing about inflation and prices which were being targeted by government in order to control the inflation in post pandemic period so although in pandemic period the inflation was at quite high situation which led to the rise of various prices but the situation was such a grave that the wpi was rose around 12.5 at the end of this year and cpi stood at 6.5.5 so this again make a worrisome situation for the government of india and policy making agencies now we should look into few basic definitions which are incurred in the economy survey such as pent up demand so it is a situation where demand for a service or product is usually strong which happened in post pandemic situation and economists used to see such situation in general public's view in order to increase of consumerism waisa situation jahan pe consumerism yani ki upbhoktavad badhte hue dikh raha hai that is called as a pent up economic situation and consumers tend to buy certain more kind of thing as of they were suffocating to buy yani ki economics depend karti humanities pe aur jab logon ko lagta hai ki hamare life mein kuch naya nahi ho raha hai kuch acha nahi ho raha hai then people start to buying something to pro procure more and more luxury goods kuch jewelries khareed lete hain kuch iphone khareed lete hain kuch various such kind of thing that make me feel they, them happy so such situation arose due to recession building up a backlog of demand aisa kyu hota hai friends due to the backlog of demand that has been stood in such situation due to recession lockdown mein log ghar mein band the markets closed the to kya ho raha tha backlog of demand khade ho gaye the bahut sari cheeze jo consumer purchase nahi kar pa rahe the unki ek backlog piling ho gayi thi and now this piling goes to high rise of consumerism लोगों ने जैसे ही मार्केट ओपन हुआ मार्केट की तरफ दौड़ पड़े और बहुत सारी चीजें प्रोक्योर करनी शुरू होगी ऑनलाइन ट्रेडिंग शुरू होगी एंड मार्केट राइजेस टू न्यू बूम दिस इज कॉल्ड एज पेंट अप सिचुएशन नाउ हेडलाइन इन्फ्लेशन व्हाट इज हेडलाइन इन्फ्लेशन फ्रेंड्स द सिचुएशन वेन देयर इज राइज ऑफ इन्फ्लेशन in terms of demand and market prices where the core inflation is rising which we see in the cpi that is consumer price index urban as well as rural that is called as combined was high as 6% and this makes the headline inflation leading to the high inflation tendency including sorry commodities such as food and energy prices which tend to be much more volatile and prone to inflationary spike so cpi mainly includes of the food and energy prices which seem to be more inflationary which were again we see in the wpi which consumes of manufactured products energy items and agro products so energy products such as oil were at high peak which led to again rise of the inflation and the food manufacturing or underlying inflation is calculated calculated by doing such thing and which leads to headline inflation in may not present in accurate picture of economy bahar jao हाँ जी बाहर जाओ अरे बाहर जाओ सो दिस लीड्स टू इन्फ्लेशनरी टेंडेंसी एंड सेक्टर स्पेसिफिक इन्फ्लेशन स्पाइक्स इज अनलाइकली टू दी परसिस्टेंस नाउ 
what is core inflation friends core inflation is a situation where there is removed the cpi component that can exhibit a large amount of volatility on the month to the month yani ki month after month we saw a large amount of volatility in certain items yani ki kuch food prices mein vegetables mein in tomato and onion we saw high fluctuation due to seasonality that led to again pent up demand so large amount of volatility was seen and the most commonly removed factor of those relating to the cost of food and energy remember friends for your prelims as well as mains food or energy prices may high spike dekha gaya tha and that can be affected by a factor outside the attribution of government that in terms of by this kind of market environmental shifts and that are growth of the crops also so such factor lead to rise in the inflation now what is refined core inflation a new term introduced by chief economic advisor that is refined core inflation so the survey construct the new term that is refined core inflation which exclude mainly fuel items like petrol for vehicle lubricants and diesel so core inflation minus petrol diesel and lubricants next to refined core inflation this situation when there is a high price rise situation of fuel items and we exclude the items of petrol diesel and lubricants in order to calculate the retail inflation that is called as a refined core inflation friends now refined core inflation is much below the core inflation refined core inflation core inflation se bahut niche hoti hai which shows that the impact of fuel in the conventional core inflation is quite substantial so this shows that the situation when there is core inflation in the economy economy is growing and when there is rise of inflation and such situation when there is fuel diesel and lubricant prices are at quite high situation such process is called as the refined core inflation remember for your prelims as well as mains point of view very very important friends then cpi in terms of usa brazil india uk we shows in the data that how the economy was in january 2020 was low level due to covid second lockdown then it grew in terms of Brazil to a highest level at 10.1 for UK it was 7.0 for India it was 5.6 USA 7.0 India 5.6 and 5.4 for UK 10 for Brazil so cpi was shown a quite a uh, uh, fluctuating situation due to rise of prices in oil market vegetable and other daily procurement retail items so cpi in industrial worker cpi agriculture labor as well as cpi rural worker were also high in terms of cpi combined so cpi combined in terms of urban and rural led to rise of overall cpi in india so it grew from 5.6 to 6.2 in month of january and wpi was around 12.4 now we see that organization of petroleum and ex petroleum exporting cooperation countries opec how they work and covid-19 related stimulus spending in major economics help in pent up demand boosting 
and consumer spending post inflation so when inflation is pushed by the consumer and more and more consumerism kind of tendency that situation is called as the consumer post inflation up in many advanced and emerging economy surge in energy food and non food commodities and input prices what are the factors energy food and non food items input prices supply constraints disruption of global supply chains and rising freight cost in terms of logistics and rail transportation across the globe stocked global finance inflation during the year also the crude oil prices witnessed a upswing during the year on the back of increased demand for the recovering of economics and supply restrictions by the organization of petroleum exporting countries and it allies that is opec plus country sought to a main rise of demand and prices on the domestic market there was a headline inflation that is cpi c in india was 5.2 and in it also grew to 6.6% in corresponding december and recorded 5.6 at the end of december 2021 now the next is how global inflation make a trend in this economic system as we saw the economic uh, activities were quite uh, slowed down during the pandemic period but as the market opens it again grew to a v shape recovery so economy system v shape recovery karke aage badhte hue humne dekha in post pandemic situation now as we saw that the rise of spending and more consumer oriented push was given leading to consumerism and this led to household in major economic system so boost to the households along with the pent up demand fueling consumer spending pushed inflation up both advanced and emerging market economies okay so kahan kahan pe economic activity badh rahi hai friends jahan pe pushed cost push demand pushed inflation hai wahan pe economy badhte hue dekhi ja rahi hai in terms of emerging market economy developing economy such as india sri lanka bangladesh singapore south asian nation and little nation and so on now inflation was increased from 0.7% in 2020 to around 3.1% 2021 as per imf and the surge in rise in energy rise in food rise in non food commodities and input prices supply constraints disruptions of the global supply chain and rising freight cost across the globe stock global inflation during this year remember this fact for your prelims as well as mains point of view now emerging market economy emdes held a rise of crude oil prices so crude oil prices was very high and it witnessed the upswing during the year on the back of increased demand for recovering then there was opec plus that is organization of petroleum exporting countries which again held for rise of prices then comparison of many emerging market and developing economies and advanced economies consumer price inflation in india remained a range bound in december 2021 owing to the provocative steps taken by government for effective supply chain management what government did there was in chapter 3 what we studied that there was a problem in logistic supply chain to government ne kya kiya inflation ko control karne ke liye help to improve this logistic system provide the container system which were again lagging and also it improved the waterway system for transportation then shipping system then roadways railways which were again engaged then again udan udan 1 and udan 2 for this transportation of logistics again very very important remember this now domestic inflation so domestic inflation in terms of domestic market in terms of cpi combined which india was slightly above 6% in 2020 2021st 
as I have already said that 6.2 of CPI combined was sought in the inflation owing to the supply chain disruptions. So supply chain may disruptions honge. how it happens CPI is guided by the production such as vegetables, fruits, essential commodities then there is a transportation then there is retail sale then there is consumer or consumption thus this process whole completes to the fulfilling of consumer needs or jab consumer needs fulfill nahi honge then there will be a rise in the inflation so why there was rise in inflation because of the supply chain mismanagement due to disruptions in logistic supply from village level to the cities which were curtailed during the pandemic situation now and due to the covid restrictions and night curfews and lockdown now looking into the next slide we saw that retail inflation from april to december stood at 5.2 then wholesale inflation based on wholesale basket WPI in previous financial years saw a sharp uptick during 2021-2022. So WPI constituted of manufacturing and oil prices as well as food items. So manufacturing was again at high due to high price of resources, raw materials, so specialty manufacturing prices be high hogi. Then there was high oil prices in the global market in terms of OECDs. Then there was food items got costly that again lead to high WPI of 12.5. So wholesale price inflation was attributed to the low base and previ previous years. So what is the base rate 2010 so WPI was calculated by Las Pears formula which again showed that upon Q naught P naught into U and P one. This is a last pairs formula which again shows that how the WPI is calculated and it is the mean of geometric mean of Fisher and last pairs. So thus WPI calculated by such formula which again shows that rise of low base inflation and the previous years was high prices in global commodity prices and also contributed to the rise in wholesale price index.